Hey guys, it is uh, day 10 of Ramadan today. Everything is a mess over there, but yeah, ignore that. Just got ready and I just woke up at like half two today. It's like four o'clock now, nearly four o'clock. So the shops are gonna close soon. I really need to run to Asda or Tesco to go and get some ingredients. I'm gonna try and make some, um, well, I'm gonna attempt at making a Wagamama firecracker today. And also I'm gonna make some brownies for my friends. So hopefully that works out. So I shall catch you guys soon. So I thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing, um, just like a sweatshirt from Zara. These are also from Zara, satin joggers and a pair of cream loafers, black bag and this balloon sleeve cardigan. I usually always wear that everywhere I go, but yeah, that's that. So I literally just did a mad shop in like half an hour, it wasn't even half an hour or so yeah it was so crazy and like this woman just came up to me and she was i was waiting in the queue for like half an hour because obviously the social distancing stuff and she came up to me and she was like oh i've only got a few things can i go in front of you i was like no we've been we've all been waiting for like half an hour if i let you push in then the person behind me is just gonna be like what but yeah was, i think everything is just getting to me today because i'm fasting and i'm just so hungry i just want to go home and make this stuff so we're just getting the Ramadan decorations ready I've just come back home, my sister's getting them all prepped. So I just got back from Asda and it's like 5 o'clock I think. Um, I'm gonna go down and put, well, bake my brownies and put them in the oven and then start on the Wagamama firecracker. But I have to do all of that within probably about 7 o'clock because I need to go and deliver the brownies to my friends. But yeah, so I'm gonna go and do that right now. Just quickly change my satin joggers into something a bit more comfy. I don't want sauce all over it. Um, it is nearly six o'clock it's like just past half five i have got about one and a half hours to make brownies and the ragamama firecracker so i'm under a short time but yeah let's go so i've just got everything out that i need to make the brownies so what you need is um three bars of chocolate well you don't really need three bars of chocolate but these two milk chocolate and white chocolate i use these as chunks inside the brownies and this whole dark chocolate bar I use I melt it and I put inside the brownie mixture and then what you need is 120 grams of plain flour 50 grams of cocoa powder four eggs and you need 200 grams of sugar and 170 grams 170 ml of oil sorry so I'm just gonna go and measure that out now and add that to a mix just measured out the sugar to nearly 200 grams so I'm just gonna pour that in to here and then I'm gonna crack the four eggs in now. So, that's one. So over here, you can see that I've put in the four eggs and the sugar. I'm just gonna mix that using a tablespoon. The reason why I use this is because I'm lazy and I can't bother to wash the whisk and it just works out way faster for me. So you can use an electric whisk if you want. Just gonna put you guys here and also mix it. So this is how the consistency should be, a bit icky, runny kind of thing. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is just melt the chocolate. What I've just done here is placed a metal bowl on a pan with some water inside it. I'm just gonna go and pour, well not pour, just put all of these in there, the whole thing basically, and let that melt. Um, I usually would have done this first, but I forgot to do that first, so make sure you guys do this step first so it cools down a bit before you add it to this mix over here. So whilst that is kind of melting, what I'm going to do is just measure out the flour and that is going to be 120 grams of flour. I'm just going to put it in. So that is nice and melted. So that has nicely melted and I'm just going to go and pour that in. So is all of the chocolate you guys can see i 
this is how the butter should look like rich and creamy and then what you do is go and add in the flour so you have to sieve in the flour so i'm just gonna go and do that now so i've just placed this sieve on top of here i'm just gonna kind of pour in the flour so that a little bit by little bit So that is the flour poured into there, sieved out. Now what I'm going to do is just measure out 50 grams of cocoa powder. That's enough. that is the heap of flour and cocoa powder I'm just gonna mix that in now obviously be very careful because it's gonna go everywhere and I'm wearing white shirt great this is an arm workout this bit So that felt like a mad arm workout, but this is how the mix should look for now. And now what I'm going to go and do is just pour in the 170 ml of oil. This is going to look a lot like a lot of oil, guys. Watch, but just trust me. Look at all of that oil. It's going to take ages to mix this. So this is how your brownie butter, just about to say butter, but butter looks proper nice and rich gooey butter. I'm just going to go and pour that in now into the baking pan. So this is how the batter should look, just spreaded it out and now I'm just going to put in some of these white chocolate pieces like so. So just fully loaded the batter with some chocolate and you can add any chocolate of your choice. What you can do now is just cover it so the kind of chocolate doesn't get baked too much. And it stays melted. I also made my family another mix, but this is more like milk chocolate. I ran out of chocolate. So that is the brownies done. Now I'm just going to go and open the oven. I've already preheated the oven to 200 degrees. Just going to open that and pop that in. Going to put that on for 20 minutes to bake. And close that. This is what my sisters have been working on all this time. Sister. Oh, sister. I'm boiling. I have just made the two batches of brownies. They've just gone into the oven. About five more minutes left for them to get done. Now I'm just going to go and make the Wagamama firecracker. I hope this comes out good. This is the first time that I'm trying it. So let's go. So what you need is some diced up chicken. And I've just washed up. I'm just going to drain that in a bit. Um, you need some tomato ketchup, I've just got this version, some tamarind sauce, um, some malt vinegar, sriracha sauce, some dried chilies, the bell peppers, that's the oven, spring onions, some sugar snap peas, uh, some lime and some brown sugar. Oh, and you need a big, well, medium sized onion. So yeah, I'm going to go and start that now. So what I'm going to go and start with the chicken marinade first. So I'm just going to go and chop these chilies. So I'm going to go and add that into this chicken mix. I've just drained the chicken out and put that in there. I'm 
just going to go and add two teaspoons of garlic, which was crushed and minced, into that mix there. Also need light soy sauce, forgot to mention this. Light or dark soy sauce, you could use both as well if you want. So next thing I'm going to do is just add some of this sriracha sauce. Open it, obviously. Duh. So one tablespoon of this. And I'm going to put that into the mix. One tablespoon of this Emily sauce. I'm probably going to add a bit more because I like this sauce. It's a bit like tangy sweet. Probably about two tablespoons. Oh shit, my brownies are burning! Just got the brownies out of the oven. They are so hot still. So I'm just going to let them cool down for a bit. And that is the round tray. That is, this one's a better one obviously. So then I'm going to go and add in two, two tablespoons of ketchup. And then one tablespoon of malt vinegar. Two tablespoons of this light soy sauce. One tablespoon of oil. I just use vegetable oil. That's that. And then I'm just going to go and grind a bit of pepper. So this is what the result of everything in there looks like. Put in one tablespoon of vegetable oil, put in two tablespoons of ketchup, put in two tablespoons of tamarind sauce, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, uh, one tablespoon of sriracha sauce, sprinkle some pepper, what else? Two tablespoons of garlic, no, two teaspoons of garlic, crushed and minced garlic. Um, what did I miss? Oh, and some crushed chilies, red chilies. So I'm just gonna go and give that a mix now. So we'll just mix that in and this is how it looks, the marinade. So I'm just gonna leave that to a side, just gonna cover it with some cling film. Um, that's that. Now I'm gonna go and put in some oil in this and do the stir fry mix. I forgot to add this brown sugar into this chicken marinade. So I'm just gonna go and add in four tablespoons of that. Just added four tablespoons of brown sugar to that. And now I'm just gonna give that a good mix as well. Did that. Now it looks so much better. That is the chicken marinade all done. So I've also just put on some rice to have with the stir fry. This is a easy cook rice, so I'll just put that on now. I just heated this pan and I'm gonna put in a bit of oil, so about just like that. Yeah, about that much. So I've just put in, put the oil on heat. I'm just gonna go and cut, cut this onion now. So this can also be in fine, so I've cut half of it in fine and I cut, I'm going to cut the rest in like a bit dicey. Too hot. Let that simmer. Just going to add in a tiny bit of salt just to make sure that it gets brown and golden. Give that a good mix and then I'm just going to cover that so then on the other side what I've got out. Oh my god, I need a bit myself. God's sake. So I've just got a wok on. I'm just going to pour some oil in and pour the chicken marinade into there just to give it a good cook. Just pouring in some oil into this wok. Not that much. And let that get heated and then I'm going to pour in the chicken marinade. So I'm going to go and add that into the wok now. Is the oil hot in the wok? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Bismillah. I don't want to burn. So I'm just going to give that a good stir and let that kind of cook until it gets a bit like just about cooked so then when it goes into there it's fully cooked. 
So whilst the um, chicken and the onions are getting done, I'm just going to go and cut the bell peppers. So what I'm using is one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper. I just realised I've got some bloody stain on my top. Damn it. So that looks like the chicken is like half done. So I'm going to go and pour that into here now. Just going to get that with me. Just pour that into the onion mix. Give, give that a good stir. Just chop the spring onion now and that is ready to go. Just wash the beans and the peppers together. Guys, this is how it looks. I think I added too much oil. Basically, don't put in too much oil when you're frying the onions and when you put it in the wok. So I'm just going to go and add in the peas and the bell pepper. I've just washed them. We have the rice already ready. So I just chopped and diced half an uh, onion again. I'm just going to go and put that in into this mix because I wasn't happy with the amount of onions that was in there. So that is going to be like crunchy onions anyway, so it's fine that you're going to add them in later. So I'm just going to pick it up. Now that looks a lot better with a bit more chunky onions cut in there. I'm going to add them to the mix. <laughs> I'm so... See? Are you not having this fight up? Oh, the brownies! You're eyeing the brownies up! Oh yeah, basically this looks so delicious. Also just gonna add a sprinkle of black seed just to give it a bit of, you know, um. Can you find me the dried flakes, please? I'm gonna add some dried chicken flakes as well into that. I'm also just gonna add some sesame seeds into that. Mm. Alright, mom, you're getting excited now. Give that a good mix. This best just come out good, otherwise, I'm gonna be vexed. Just cut some lime pieces up to kind of drizzle on top of the rice and this it is ready now so it looks delicious it smells delicious I can't wait for iftar now so I'm just gonna go and cut these brownies up now what is that is that supposed to be our one yes dead Shut up. and this is how the brownies came out that's the first batch the second batch can't wait so my sister decorated this room so this is the dining room and she also decorated this room oh it looks so pretty this room is an absolute mess oh my god look this was what happened before Gosh, this is all my nice tops. But yeah, there's about 10 minutes left for iftar. I'm just gonna go and put everything on the plates. It's at 10 minutes before iftar. That is the hardest to feel. I'm so hungry. Are we ready, guys? So my sister is making, what are you making? Fish for birds. Fish for birds. has got all the balloons and stuff to decorate this pot but yeah i am just about to go and make the brownie deliveries look like a tramp but oh well who cares this is how i've packed the brownies i'm just about to head out so i've just got out and i'm waiting for nahima to come these are all the bags ready i'm just gonna move them oh, should we hold them till she comes to where she's coming now Say hi! Get in, get in, get in! Just 
show your face. Show me. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not hide? You're not showing me. <laughs> okay, I'll hold this. Guys, <laughs> right, it has been like what? Seven weeks. Seven weeks since seven I've weeks. seen her. It's been seven weeks since I've seen everybody. To be fair, but seven weeks. Damn. It's been so long. That's long. Can you just say hi? No, <laughs> no, please don't. Are you excited to have my brownies? Yeah, I'm really excited. So that's the reason why she actually came, not to see me. Yeah, that's the truth, man. I feel like eating this. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just about to call Nish and tell her that I'm outside with some brownies. She doesn't know. Don't look at me. Hey, Nish. Hi. Where are you? Hi. Yeah. So we're like me and the Hima are like outside. <laughs> and I've got like oh a, God. I've got like a special delivery for you. <laughs> okay, you gotta come to my car though. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Alright, okay. In a bit. So, this is Nisha's bag. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. You're gonna be my vlog, by the way. <laughs> so, we've come to friend number two's house. Hello. Hi, Darcy. Hi. Where are you? In your house, yeah. So, can you come outside? Because, like, me and him are outside, and I've got like a little delivery thing for you. Oh, just got Darcy's ready. Yeah, Darcy. <laughs> You're gonna be my vlog, but I'm not put, trying to put you in. <laughs> so, Darcy's just come and joined us as well. We <laughs> but, yeah, we're gonna go, and we've got two more deliveries to do. So, so we are at number four, friend number four. Oh, wait, let me put a speaker. I'm coming up. Are you dumb? <laughs> Oh my god, I miss you guys so much. But also in the car, got Nahima here. Say hi to YouTube. No, <laughs> what did you say, Amara? I'm gonna watch you guys go. Bye! Bye. I got you some brownies! <laughs> so I just did deliveries for all of these lot and I thought that I'd come. Oh, that's a big, big girl. Say hi! <laughs> I'm vlogging. You're gonna be that's my vlog. <laughs> Just came to my aunt's house and she's forcing me in. Just came back from all the deliveries. We went all the way to my aunt's house as well I to give her some brownies. You're not, you're not, yes, Dory. Look, is that there? Yes, that's me. There, look. But yeah, um, but I'm gonna go and pray and I'm just gonna call it a night. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna say bye to you guys and see you next time. Bye.